Hello and welcome, I'm Vasquez and this is City Skylines Industries. Oh yeah, finally Industries are here. This is the newest DLC and guys, I will try to cover everything new in this video. I will show you every single building, I will show you every single industry here and I will try to show you everything new in this latest update that we got today. Yeah, Industries are released and finally they are here honestly I'm waiting this for like 10 days and now they are here so uh, let's begin immediately I wanna show you every single detail about this latest patch or DLC how you wanna call it uh, I created some simple grid because I didn't want to waste your time let's press the time and let's go straight into the building uh, because I already placed some housing over here because I want to show you everything and if you wonder which mods are not working I'm I have a lot of mods installed and so far I had a problem with traffic manager but I didn't test it yet uh, just uh, something show up that traffic manager probably is not going to work but everything seems to be working just fine uh, I will show you mods for me that are working uh, I have here I can increase my fields with no problem oh this is oil uh, I can increase my fields uh, let's go and uh, show you with oil as you can see it's working properly we can do or if we want so this mod is working uh, mod move it is working traffic manager I'm hoping that is working and uh, yeah, everything seems to be working just fine. I have a couple of things here that are not from the game. And uh, yeah, it's it's great. It's great. Okay, we have finally some housing over here. And let's go straight to farming. I want to show you how, to you how can you create your industry. Guys, this is not really hard. And uh, let's create a little bit more houses over here before we go. Okay, uh, this is simple. Okay. You go here, districts and areas, really simple. Take this and let's go. Mark your farming area or any industry that you want to create. It, this is, guys, really, really simple. I, I think you know already this. And you go here. This is a brand new panel. Okay. Uh, if you wonder where is garbage, here it is. You have here. So I'll place immediately something to deal with my waste. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to place this big one, uh, 16 megawatt waste energy. So let's go to farming. Okay, we have a new panel over here. Industry areas, forestry, farming, ore and oil. Let's go here to farming. Let's explain every single detail. First off, you need to do before you even place any of these buildings there's a lot of them you need to place your main building this is your main farming building look at a house it's cute <laughs> uh, okay I will place it uh, like here on the main road for the starts I'm just testing this I spent maybe an hour into the game and I'm super excited to show you everything okay we don't have power here let's bring some electricity let's correct this problem okay let's go back to the panel here workers barracks this house will increase your worker efficiency by 5% uh, with each house the maximum is 100% so yeah th this is good you can increase your efficiency and I will place immediately one house uh, right next to here and because I don't have money problems uh, I will do it like this maybe let's see how it oh yeah I it's okay it's okay <laughs> and let's go uh, we have farm maintenance building this building will increase the storage capacity of industrial buildings by 5% and uh, yeah this is good you need your capacity and next is small crop field let's go and place small crop field uh, I will show you my natural resources this is the wealthiest one I can say and uh, let's go because I want to create big farm I think farming is looking wonderful in this game 
and this is the patch that I'm waiting so long and okay and this is a medium crop field uh, I will place one here and one here because I want to grow different stuff and we have large crop field you can see the difference the difference is huge let's go and place it on this side because I will need marking for my road system I will place all the buildings that we have currently here and I will explain every single detail that you need to know and let's go with small fruit field maybe here next to the main building and the worker barracks and we have a medium I will place it maybe okay let's go on this side let's go on this side fruit here and large fruit field you see how much it takes the land and we already have trucks that are moving the goods let's see we have more buildings over here this is a small animal pasture and we can grow animals now wow finally I mean this is nice uh, I will move that a little bit on this side like this and I will place a large one immediately here can I place it no what is the problem like that and I think this is it I will cover this in a second let's go whoops let's delete this okay let's cover everything this is your main building let's pause the time this is your main building you can see the people that are working here and this is your worker barracks and you can see here work efficiency 110 percent same how many people are working how much is the maximum and let's go to the small fruit field you see here that 20 people can work here so that is the maximum for this small field and you can grow some different things let's go we can change it to apples we can change it to oranges or we can go to pears eh, or if you want a greenhouse so greenhouses are looking wonderful I think this building or this model of the building is looking great so maybe if you have a big big city you can grow your fruits right in the city and yeah I think it's it's a great idea but I will go and switch it to Pierce and same here for the medium and same here for the large fruit field you can change it to greenhouse or you can change it to any fruit that you want I'm not really sure that there's maybe uh, some extra fruits uh, available but I'm pretty much sure that that will be available soon on the steam workshop so let's go with origins and let's go here to medium crop field and yeah you can see we can grow different things corn cotton potato wheat and every single time I click this will change and the house will change and the field will change so I, l I think this is nice and the greenhouse is here as well uh, I will place uh, wheat here and I will switch this greenhouse maybe to corn and this small to potatoes let's go and have many many things growing here and this I will leave it on wheat and let's go here to animal products uh, we can we can have sheep pigs cows I think we can switch it around like we want uh, I will place pigs here leave it how with sheep cows and pigs never mind let's press the time we need people and guys this is most important part uh, let's place a little bit more housing over here okay we need police let's switch this okay like that uh, sorry for that uh, let's go back here to farming and guys if you want to grow your industry you need to to do two main things and this is important because your industry will not grow if you don't do this let's go here to the main house click here on industry industry area info and this is your uh, farms this is your farms and you can see here your product your production your import currently I'm not importing anything this is the only my production from these farms 
and you can see that we have animal products we can we have flower output how many we are earning how much tons we are producing and here the profit that I'm having currently I'm not making any money and you can see here how many cells this area is uh, here and uh, let's go to the thing that you need to grow your industry even more you can see here produce resources until next level this is the second level you need 500 resources to be produced so your fa your uh, farms need to produce 500 resources it's not really important is it from the sheep is it from the cows maybe from wheat maybe from oranges we need 500 resources the next thing you need to grow your industry is people who are working here and you can see that we have currently 100 and 154 people working so 155 so if we want to advance to the level 3 here we need 500 resources and we need 348 people working here so that's it guys it's really really simple and if you have a problem by doing this, creating this industry even bigger and your industry is not growing, every single time this uh, your industry grows, this house will change. And yeah, it's nice. Uh, they did a great job. But if you have a problem not having uh, enough people working here, you need to do t two things. And we are making profit over here. You need to do two things you can create housing a little bit closer to your industry like I'm trying currently to make my people go and live a little bit higher up there or you can create a very very good uh, public transport that will move your citizens to their job and let's go and place some higher houses because I don't want my farm burn <laughs> and let's go and cover the next buildings that we are having over here next building is a flour mill we need wheat to produce flour mill and let's go and uh, place our flour mill I will place it over here because this is the main road and it's pretty big and it can handle traffic so let's place it over here and you can see it, it's in the circle so it's not a problem and let's go to the flour mill and you can see not enough raw materials so you can fix that we are growing wheat on this field we are growing potatoes on this field and we are growing wheat on this field so I will create one more large wheat production because now I'm having a flour mill so oh never mind uh, I will not destroy it so no I will not destroy it uh, I made a mistake. Uh, let's go. Large crop field. And change it here to wheat. Now we are producing more wheat. And our flour mill will work now. As you can see, it's working. We need wheat to produce flour. Simple, guys. Like in the real world. So let's go here. Click again to the to the industry and you can see here that we are producing flour we are producing animal products and we are producing crops and you can see how much flour we are producing how much animal products and how much crops because we are producing flowers some of the crops are going here so this will be a little bit lower and uh, our level is increasing and we need more people higher here and we have bonuses here as you can see we have efficiency and we have pollution minus 10 and you can see efficiency bonus makes extractors and processing building okay never mind uh, we can change we can change policies you can go and change some policies to improve this you can go here to policies and we have new policies guys as well this are the new policies we have free Wi-Fi automated sorting educational blimps prefer ferries uh, and let's go to taxation everything is the same city planning 
uh, this is new workers union this is new uh, and on services we have a couple of new things trucks will go and take this bring it here and produce flour like in the real world and let's go to the next building we have here castle sheet uh, castle sheet are very ventilated buildings that you uh, castle sheets are really really good to raise more cattle more animal Cattle sheet is very very good to produce more animal products, so I will place it something like this. Yeah, like here, I will produce it here. And let's go to the next building here, milk, and uh, yeah, we can produce milk. And uh, if you're wondering what resources do you need to produce some stuff, you can click here. You can click on the building and you can see that we need uh, animal products to produce no and let's go to the next building here we can produce milk but we need cows for milk but we are having to we are we have already cows so uh, I can move this maybe a little bit further so uh, let's go and uh, place another huge factory over here so uh, milk will be brick brought milk will be produced on this building but we need cows for that we have cows here and I will switch it to cows on this side and yeah let's go to the next building slaughterhouse uh, if we build this slaughterhouse we are going to have meat and we are going to need meat to produce something else so uh, I will build my slaughterhouse but I will build it on a little bit further area than the producing uh, because I don't want to waste my area I will do it like this something a little bit further and let's go and place slaughterhouse on this side let's see electricity connect here and now we have slaughterhouse and uh, this will work eventually let's speed up the time a little bit and uh, let's cover all of these buildings that we are having over here uh, this is really really good this small grain silos so we can place it maybe like here and let's place a big one here okay you can store your uh, grain on this siluses I mean it's obvious and you can choose if you want to fill it empty it or, or balance it so you can have here six you can store here 600 tons and on the small one you can store 300 tons so nice and it's looking uh, really really nice with uh, flour mills so we will leave it to uh, fill up this is a nice storage area because if you have uh, outproducing some of the resources uh, your trucks will bring it here to the siluses and they will fill up eventually if you need them they will spend it uh, let's go to our building and let's see something let's go we need a little bit more people hired to advance another level so we need 300 people 350 people working here to advance to the next level and as you can see we are producing and we are making a profit nice let's go to the next building that we are having here small barn and the large barn you can storage your crops here 500 tons and on the smaller one 400 tons so yeah this is similar like Silas as you can see it's filling up it's filling up pretty much 100 tons already and this is almost full and there is a lot of a lot of trucks trying to bring <laughs> so I will uh, place a little bit more of Silas's to help with the demand and your farming area is uh, going to change because as you can see siluses are really really nice looking and um, 
it, it feels like a farm now. I mean, before this update, um, industries were something that you place a bunch of uh, generic ones or maybe some oil or farming and you do not watch it ever again. Uh, I have a lot of problems here with uh, cars. <laughs> but this is not the subject. And let's go to the industry again. This is I will take care of that later. And uh, let's go to the warehouses. We have four different warehouses. First one capacity 100,000 tons second is 250 third is 400,000 tons and the fourth is 750,000 tons and uh, yeah you can place it maybe into the city maybe um, some area that is needed uh, let's go and create more people we need them to advance the city a little bit okay let's see here okay they're filling up pretty nicely nice uh, let's go to storage and I will place a sample storage here I'm not really sure what will hold okay we can choose oh nice 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 we can choose what do we want to be stored as you can see uh, you can build your storage area near your big factory and uh, store your goods of course and uh, let's go and see can we store yes we can store animal products here so this is really really good because this is a slaughterhouse and we need to store something here 100 tons and nice nice and yeah this is good because you can store a lot of the goods on the some uh, near factory business so yeah your factory can't uh, have this you need you your factory can't go on this stage where you don't have products so uh, we can go and create uh, another warehouse over here that will uh, store wheat if we have wheat let's go flowers animal products paper timber petroleum plastics or you can choose to store a lot of stuff nice 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 i i really like this i can't wait to learn every single detail about this game <laughs> and uh, let's go and expand this a little bit more see here everything is old nothing new we didn't and on the water everything the same same here same here schools are the same transport uh, is changed because now we have cargo planes let's go and show it to you we have cargo planes and we have a cargo airport hub so this is really really cool I can't wait to try it uh, this is what is this this is the postal office and yeah <coughs> we received postal offices so let's go and place one postal office here and this is a storage facility I, I, I'm sh just posting a lot of things because I want to see how it's working and uh, now we have some mail oh 40,000 mail and this is the numbers that they can store over here so if you have a pretty big city this will manage it nice and uh, let's go to the plaza here let's see nothing is new oh yeah these things that you see I'm I got them before the update let's see everything is working oh yeah even my containers they are working nice and let's go here let's see did we got anything new no nothing on stadiums level one is the same level three is the same uh, no no I got this on the workshop so let's try the building yeah the building is functioning this is great 
let's see on the level four nothing new and the level six nothing new i got this building same on the uh, steam workshop let's try it and the building is working okay i really really like that and let's try something else because uh, I'm making the video to show you everything that is new and uh, I want to show you if my mods are working so to win one let's see we have some buildings it's working it's working nice it seems that this uh, update didn't break a lot of mods so I'm really really happy about it and you can see here that I can grow a little bit more trees the brush is working that is good that is good everything is good nothing is broken let's see here okay this is working this is working let's go undo here <laughs> undo that and yeah so far all of the mods all of the props that I'm having in, the g in this game are working that I I'm happy about that so let's go again to the industry let's go to the next thing these are the unique buildings guys these are the unique buildings and l let's see this there's a lot of buildings here and uh, for every building that is unique you need some stuff before you can place it because you need to have your industry well built before you can manufacture maybe furniture over here let's go and place it uh, you can okay never mind let's go and let's go like this because this is just a test and you can see what we need we need timber and we need paper be before we can produce our furniture so because we do not have forestry I will delete this and let's go to the next one we we can have bakery uh, I'm not really sure if the bakery can work let's see let's see that bakery bakery because bakery is for the city and uh, yeah I can I will place it like here into the city I know maybe not the smartest idea but you can see what we need so we can produce this we can produce goods because we have animal products we have crops we have flour and you can change the production level over here as you can see you can change your production level and trucks are moving the goods moving the flower let's go and see another building before this will start up in this industrial steel plant uh, I don't have my ore industry oh my god this is huge oh I can't wait to get it <laughs> uh, we have plastic factory again I don't have my oil industry and you can see that we need a lot of the stuff before toy factory we need paper timber before we can start with that printing press I think we need paper yes paper timber again what is this this is lemonade factory oh it's big it's big uh, electronics factory we need goods to be shipped here before your plant will start to work and okay this is huge petroleum holy moly <laughs> paper factory oh this is even bigger what is this what is this car f oh my god we can produce cars oh man we can produce cars <laughs> I like this update so much oh I need to see this I need to see this come on come on I know we can't produce it but this is huge guys this is huge we need animal products we need plastics we need glass we need metals before this factory can even start but oh my god let's delete this oh let's go and overview this next building is yes. food factory and uh, we need timber and paper for this so let's go for the next one sneaker factory oh my god house factory shipyard we can produce ships paradox 
interactive. I want to say that this is the best DLC you ever created. I mean, hats off, dudes. This is wonderful. Let's go and place a little bit more buildings. We need more people here working because I want to go and grow the forestry, build my forest industry like this. And here I'm going to build my oil rig industry. Oh yes, we can have oil rigs. And I think this is something really, really fun. Let's bring some water over here immediately. Because I want to show you all of the stuff that we are getting uh, on these two industries. So before we can produce our factories that are unique, we need some stuff. Uh, we need... Uh, timber we need some plastics so yeah we need to solve this let's go to the forest industry let's place some roads I will not make it a big one, I just want to show you all of the stat stuff. Let's go and place the main building, the worker barracks. And let's produce some wood over here. Nice. Large ship, large trees. And let's place a sawmill, something a little bit uh, like here. And let's and again, guys, you can choose which plants do you want to uh, grow. Like here, you can change your trees uh, like this, or you can have a greenhouse a greenhouse for the trees it's looking nice it's looking nice yeah and let's add a little bit more stuff to the uh, to the forest industry because I want my forest industry to be a little bit bigger and yeah it, it's good because we we can now produce timber nice and let's go to the forest industry let's see all the buildings we have a sawmill, we have a biomass pellet plant, we have wood plants here. Let's see what is this stuff doing? What is this doing? Let's go replace it over here. Okay, this produce plant timber. Pulp mill. It's a big it's a big factory. And of course we have a small yard uh, storage be because we have farm we have a s because we have sawmill over here I will place my storage right here because we can have stored goods before they can enter here to the sawmill yeah yeah maybe not the best idea with this but never mind let's go and see sawdust storage oh yeah because we can produce sawdust we can have a storage place and wood chip storage same if you have a wood chip factory pallets engineered wood pulp on oh, yeah nice nice and let's go to the oil because I don't have any oil on the land I will create my own like this again the mod is working so we can use it okay let's go again same as before place your main building and uh, you can have barracks for your people your roads uh, your industry will be a little bit more efficient you can have your maintenance and these are the 
rigs or the pumps that you can use to produce your oil. I will place them all because I'm really really interested how much oil can they produce. So we have a bunch of different ones and we have an offshore ri rig. Let's go and place it like this and we have a plants for the goods that we are producing so let's place a little bit more electricity here because we're going to need it okay the offshore doesn't have any roads let's fix that Okay, we fixed the problem. Uh, we have now offshore buildings and now we can produce some plastics, some materials that we can refine uh, here. Let's go and see our storage that we have. Large crude storage. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Uh, this game is even better than before. Crude oil storage. What is this? oil industry storage there's so many storage places where you can store okay 600 barrels 300 barrels 400 barrels 500 barrels oh my god uh, let's go and see all the pumps that we are currently having this is the rate of the production 5000 units 8000 units 7000 units for this one and 10000 units for this one nice and let's go to the main building let's see industry area here uh, we are producing we are having people come here to work but we are not producing any petroleum or plastics so let's go and change that let's go and change that petrochemical plant waste oil refinery so I know this is even forestry but uh, that's not really important because I wanted to show you some stuff here and now we can produce plastics over here petroleum and this producing petroleum nice now we have almost all of the resources that are available here into the game and uh, now we can go and uh, place our unique factories that we have so we can go and place some refinery over here we have petroleum we have plastics but we don't have metal yeah f i forgot about that <laughs> we can we need metal uh food factory we can produce food i think right now let's see flour paper plastics animal products now we can produce uh, food Let's see what is this sneaker factory. We don't have metal. Printing press. Yeah, paper and plastics. But uh, guys, remember you always can improve these buildings by adding some storage space like this and choose what you want to store. Because we need paper and plastics. I can store paper over here. Why not? We can store paper and this factory will not uh, have any problems with the goods. Yeah. Th and let's see what else is new into the game. Let's see what else. We have toll boats here. Uh, I don't believe that I will use this that much. Uh, you can't place it like this. You need to delete the road first and then you need to do it like this. Oh, this is a highway. Tool boot. Two way large. Tool boot like this. And you need to connect your roads. 
and we need electricity so let's go it like this uh, water it's okay and now you can charge tickets but I think this will slow the industry a lot so I'm not really sure how this is going to work you can increase the price you can lower the price and you can see that they are slowing down to pay but you will earn some extra money if your city isn't a problem you can do something like this and uh, as you can see some trucks are going back so I will do it like this let's go on to the lowest possible uh, ticketing let's go and see what's this these are the same just for the smaller for the smaller roads and this is for the highway on one direction and these are the toll boots I personally do not think that I will use them that much but it's fun to have some changes in the game like this uh, let's see what else what else nothing else I can't find um, that is new most important part mods are working okay we don't have plastics or metal I will delete this let's see our industry again how is the farming industry moving let's see they're almost to the level 5 this is the maximum level of the industry that you can have and uh, level 5 we need more people working and uh, it will eventually go up let's see here our industry will start to produce soon because all we need is paper and paper again let's see the slaughterhouse is working very good let's see the bakery bakery has some problems with flowers uh, as you can see you can't just pop out a lot of buildings all over the place you need to plan this smartly because if you don't have uh, products here in your bakery it will not work it will not work so you can fix that problem you can go and place some small storage area near the near the bakery that you need so you can decrease your uh, like this go and uh, go here and uh, store flour because you need flour to make this building graph what else we need animal products let's go and uh, store animal products you can do something like this or maybe this uh, will be a little bit further but you will have close supplies to your bakery and eventually this will be uh, filled with goods and this will not happen because you will have your goods uh, bring to the factory really really close really really fast and uh, yeah nice I'm really happy that mods and uh, a lot of the buildings that I downloaded are working and yeah let's go and see the petroleum industry for a quick industry area and we are not importing anything we are producing petroleum and plastics and our industry is growing a little bit we just need more people to be hired uh, let's go here to the forestry same as well but we don't produce paper we need to fix that problem sawmill biomass pellets and this is the factory that we need to produce paper let's go and uh, just place it we need paper this is the factory that will produce so now we don't import any paper we are producing it we produce timber uh, that we need for the rest of the industry here uh, we are producing paper we are producing oil we are producing plastics everything that we need and yeah but I didn't cover the metal industry uh, let's go and cover that a little bit I will place it like here because I want to show you all the new stuff uh, I'm really happy that this is working <laughs> yeah let's increase the brush size like that and now we can produce some ore and uh, we need water for this let's solve this
okay now we can go and again go here paint the industry that you need simple simple go here place your main building and of course you need some worker barracks you need some maintenance barracks because you want to be efficient you don't want an efficient industry and let's go and place some buildings that we have oh, okay this is looking this is looking great oh it's working it's moving it's moving oh nice oh nice let's go and uh, produce some water a little bit I highly recommend this for the water because uh, this is uh, the sewage and the water tank so two in one great deal let's see what buildings that we have more here underground or large or underground offshore oh sub oh nice we can or offshore nice let's place all of the buildings and s see what can we receive here okay there's a lot of stuff again you have a lot of storage areas storage storage so they plan this really really nice obviously I will not create my industry like this in this video this was only to show you guys what new and what industry that we got here is uh, how can you play it of course how what you need to do and let's see industry maintenance building here we are producing ore uh, here we have a storage area producing producing oh this is going to look nice if we use because ore is obviously somewhere in the hills uh, like that and you can create your ore oil and you can create your ore mine and uh, let's go and show it to you a little bit quickly oops I mean you can place a lot of rocks make this go a little bit more realistic than it is let's see we are producing glass here we are producing metals glass metals we have some storage areas and now we can produce uh, everything that we need here in our unique factories so I have all the materials necessary but uh, I'm not really sure that I have them in large quantities so yeah forestry oil ore and farming this is the new DLC and I know this is not looking very pretty or very efficient but uh, I created this video to show you all of the new stuff that we received in this latest DLC that came out today uh, and I used the opportunity to show you my mods that are working of course uh, I'm happy about that and uh, yeah I will create a more efficient city uh, soon and I will upload it to my channel of course but for now this was only the overview of the buildings of the new stuff that we got in the city skylines industries and uh, yeah uh, thank you so much for watching and if you like the video please leave a subscription like the video uh, and yeah see you in the next one bye everybody